And new this morning, video of Air Force One on the tarmac after President Joe Biden participated in the G7 summit. President Biden meeting face to face with Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky at that G7 summit in Japan. Closer to home, the high stakes debate over the rising debt ceiling and preventing a recession that continues. The eye openers, Jackie DeFusco, live in Washington to get us all caught up. Jackie. Hey, good morning, Rondella. That meeting between President Biden and Zelensky coming as we're starting to learn more about a potential setback for Ukraine. Russian-backed forces claim that they have seized control of the eastern city of Bakhmut. However, during that G7 summit this morning, President Zelensky denying that, saying that the Ukrainian city is not occupied by Russian troops as of today. And so a little bit of conflicting information this morning there earlier this weekend leading democratic nations at the G7 backing a new round of sanctions, an effort to deter Russia. And in a policy shift, the Biden administration now says that they'll train Ukrainians on American-made fighter jets after resisting that step for months now. President Biden also announcing another $375 million in aid for Ukraine. That includes things like ammunition, artillery and vehicles. Here's what both leaders had to say in their face-to-face -face meeting this morning. Mr. President, what the people of Ukraine are defending, what you've achieved is a matter for the entire world to observe, and they're in awe of what you've done so far. I'm very thankful to American people, to, to you, your team, Congress, my partisan and support, and I'm, I'm happy that between our teams there are strong relations. And happening now, President Biden is officially on the way back to Washington, D.C., where he'll, ne he'll need to revisit uh, this high stakes negotiation over raising the debt ceiling and trying to prevent economic collapse. Uh, Biden saying that he plans to call Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy on that trip back from the G7. Now, McCarthy has been stressing that at least in principle, an agreement needs to be reached by the end of the weekend here so that lawmakers have enough time to get this potential deal across the finish line and get it passed before this June 1st deadline that according to the Treasury Secretary is the soonest date that the U.S. could default on its debt in the absence of an agreement. Back to you. Time is ticking. Jackie, any indication that a debt ceiling deal could be close? Yeah, well, let's just say that President Biden did not paint the rosiest picture of negotiations in a press conference that he had earlier this morning. He said that it's time for Republicans to move off of what he called an extreme position and double down on the idea that a default is really not an option here, indicating that House Republicans are still pushing for some steep spending cuts uh, coupled to this deal to raise a debt ceiling and that they've been rejecting some alternatives proposed by the White House in recent days. Jen, I'll send it back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you.